guys, I got myself a nice one. Oh, I hope it doesn't break me off on this limb, but I got myself a fish right off a of bed and it's a really, really good one. I gotta see how this line holds up because I got over a, I got over a limb. Let's see if we can get underneath it. Once it gets under, yep, we're good. All right, there we go, guys. I got a giant first fish of the day. It's Cornell with YouTube Fish and Vids and it's spawning time. I had to play with this one. I got myself a, uh, I got myself a frog here because I wanted to get myself a couple snakeheads. First fish of the day is a giant and they're up on the beds, guys. Look at this fish. What a beauty, he ain't going anywhere. Come here. Come here, look at this. Look at this fish, guys. Look at what's out here on the beds here in my local lake. It looks so much smaller than this. I have no idea what I'm dealing with because I don't bring a scale that often. So I'm gonna have to have you guys gauge how big you think this fish is. It's an absolute giant. That's definitely my PB of the year. Uh, it's easily five. It's, it's five and change, maybe pushing six. I'm gonna count a couple pitches. We're gonna put it back. I ain't gonna mess with the male. He's out there doing his thing. So let me get a couple pitches, put it right back on the bed. All right, folks, one more look at that absolute giant. We wanna get these fish back healthy and happy, ready to make those babies. It's going right back to the bed. And what a fish to start the day. How uncomplicated is that, guys? Zoom trick worm, green pumpkin, chartreuse tip tail, looking like a little bluegill up there, making her angry enough to want to eat. Just an absolutely awesome, awesome bite. I saw her pick it up and swim, put it to her. All right, so it's eight pound test. That's all I'm dealing with, guys. I probably could put way more poundage on there, but I don't have much cover here. Nothing to it. Seven foot, medium action, X pride. The same setup I was using with my uh, with my wacky rig Senko the past couple of videos, but now I got a shaky head on it. So I'm going to be going for snakeheads today. When I see the beds, I'm going to probably pop one off the beds just for fun. But let's see if we can do a combo effect and see if we can get uh, anything this lake has to offer today. All right, like I said, I have a frog on board. I literally brought four rods, a drop shot, a shaky head slash Senko slash fluke, depending on what I want to do. And I got a chatterbait spinnerbait rod. That's all I've got, but I took this uh, Booyah I guess this is a pad crash, a popping pad crasher. I got a couple BBs in it. Heavy duty, 50 pound braid. I got myself an X-Bride. Just an absolutely awesome extra heavy. Another Hyper Mag with a high speed, eight and change to one, eight three to one. And I'm throwing up here, and I have been throwing up here really, really shallow in the muck and the mess here trying to get a snakehead. But as I go along the shoreline, naturally we're gonna see some beds because it's about that time. So I thrown maybe for about 10 minutes with this frog came up on that bed and what a way to start the day only been out here about 10 minutes 15 minutes at this point and now i'm back at the uh frog popping routine so let's see if we can do a combo like i said if i could get myself a giant snakehead along with that one giant bass my day is made anything beyond that is gravy and just a bonus so let's see what we can do happy to be out here conditions logs just a minute under 65 degrees out here in the afternoon i came out here in the afternoon i'm going to be fishing probably till dark if I'm smart. So that's what my plan is. I'm sure the water temps will go up a little bit, but yeah, 65 degrees where I'm sitting right here, partly cloudy and some sun breaking through and it's warm and beautiful. It's about 72 to 75 degrees today. Absolutely perfect. And light winds out of the Northwest. So all things are pointing to a good day of fishing, especially with that first catch of the day. We've got enough wind that I'm throwing a moving bait, guys. I'm actually throwing a Finch, nasty, nasty thumper vibrating jig and a green pumpkin. So we're trying to emulate some bluegill and hope that there's some pre-spawn mamas out here. Not quite ready to get up on the beds because it's a little bit of everything going on out here right now, I'm sure. And this is absolutely prime conditions for a moving bait. I did not have any luck the past two times I was out here. Have anything grab a spinner bait. <laughs> vibrating jig until now. There it is, guys. It's like three casts with a vibrating jig and I just got smashed. I knew that would be, oh my gosh, it's another giant. Absolute freaking giant. I love it. How cool is this, guys? I just picked it up and that was a good call. It was a very good call because it's another big one. It's probably a pre-spawn female. Guys, seriously, what do you think of that? Absolutely sick. What an absolutely awesome start to the day. Two big old lunkers, one off a of bed and one who's not ready for the bed wants to show off some beautiful markings. Look at the tail on that. Isn't that absolutely awesome? Vibrating jig gets it done in the wind. I'm gonna go ahead and get some pictures of that one too. All right, guys, just another absolutely beautiful look at another pre-spawn bass with, like I said, some of the coolest markings ever. That is just absolutely awesome. Another big one, that's number two, going back. 
There's the bait of choice, just a vibrating jig, 3 8 ounce, Finch Nasty Nasty Thumper and a Green Pumpkin. That's a Lake Fork Tackle Magic Shad, something or other I think that is. Dip Chartreuse Tail, just looking like a bluegill out here. One of the main stay forges out of my local lake. Let's get back at it. God's got another good one, <laughs> another bed fish. Dude, this is awesome. This is the most awesome stuff ever right here. It's a good one. On the shaky head again as the wind starts to pick up. Where's it gonna blow me? I'd rather have this, I'd rather have this fish drag me around than the wind. Number three, big one, guys. This has been an absolutely awesome day. Just cruising the banks, throwing the frogs, throwing the vibrating jig, going back and forth, seeing a bunch of fish on beds, but not wanting to mess with too many of them. I mean, if they're decent size, I'm gonna grab one like this, but not if they're just those little things. This guy is a fatty, just an absolute pig. And it's coming in because it took so well. Another giant, guys, look at that. Not a giant giant, but you know what I'm saying. Better than a dink. Absolutely killing it on that little trick worm. There was another one following it. I think that's uh, that might be a big male. It's hard to say. Yeah, it's a male, guys. There's probably a female nearby, but big old bass. Absolutely beautiful. Going back right to the bed. Let's get her back. Killer. Well, we could not ask for better Senko conditions. It is dead calm. Back to my little Senko spot that I fished the past couple times I've been out, and as calm as it is, I can't imagine throwing anything else. I mean, the shaky head and the Drop shot working here too, but they're snagged pretty quick. And this weightless, wacky rig Senko is probably going to do it again for a couple of fish, I would hope. Here we go. Let me throw it in this log over here. I haven't caught one off this log yet this season. It's usually one there. I think I saw a couple good ones there last time I was here. So let's see if it's not been harassed today. There he is. Yep, right in the log. <laughs> and there's a good one too. That's a nice fish, guys, right where I was hoping he'd be. Hadn't caught one off that in the past couple times I've been out, but he sure enough was there this time. That's great. That's a good one, guys. Real good fish. Number four, I believe. So that's a Senko fish, two bed fish, vibrating jig. It's just all kinds of stuff going on today. Super cool. Yeah, he's absolutely perfectly, perfectly hooked. He's giving me a little shower. Come here, open your mouth. Perfect. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Not, that's a smallest fish. Another beautiful marked fish though. Look at that, guys. Aren't those birthmarks amazing? And look how cool and perfect that little wacky rig hook is. Amazing. All right, going back. I don't think it's as big as the other ones, guys, but I finally found another fish that might be willing to play got it <laughs> dropped it right on its head and it came right at it. it's a good one it's not a small fish again if they're a little deeper it's hard to tell but that's a good fish i'm blowing into the bank i gotta be careful i got some wind oh what a nice fish and it goes that would have been number five that was an awesome fish on the drop shot very very cool stuff i'm gonna go ahead and get myself in position here so i can probably find another one that would have been number five guys today has been one less fish, one or two less fish than the last time out, but the caliber of fish has been way, way better. Absolutely awesome. The wind's really tough to deal with when you're trying to do some bed fishing, but let me see if I can find another one. We'll hopefully find one more. I might have to have the next fish be the last fish because it's getting a little late and it might be time to call it. So let's see if we can find one more that wants to play. All right, guys, this is my last hope to get a sign out fish because I got to go. He's looking like he's kind of ready. And he is! <laughs> he totally, totally grabbed it. He's a good one, guys. Number five. That's my sixth bite. I lost that one on the drop shot, but I broke out the shaky. And he looks like he's pegged beautifully. I think he's going to give me a little dance. And I'm going to show him off. I'm going to get on out of here, hang with the fam, get some dinner. What a night. I didn't get that snakehead. I worked hard at it. I knew this guy was going to bite. I could tell he had, a, he had an attitude. And that's another phenomenal phenomenal fish to call in a night the spawn is on it wasn't just spawning fish i caught i was able to get a moving bite a little wacky rig senko bite and it's just all good out here on the local lake in the springtime folks as always i appreciate you joining me as always i appreciate you subscribing until we meet again over and out